Jennifer and I'm here with a winter shoot video and I'm doing this thanks to a lovely blog reader, obviously video watcher, Renee, for asking for it. So if you guys want something specific, please ask so that I know what you need to learn about. Um, Renee, thank you so much for, for being like a loyal blog reader, subscriber, whatever, for all these years. I think you've followed me for a really long time. If you know how long it's been, I guess like seven years at least, right? You could leave it in the comments and let me know because but thank you so much. I appreciate it. I would not be able to still be doing this today if it wasn't for people like you. So thank you, Renee. Anyway, um, I wanna go through winter shoe options and I'm con keeping in mind that, you know, I'm not gonna focus 100% on outdoor because you're going, I'm assuming from your car, your house to your car to your work or your restaurant or your mall or whatever, you're not like spending a ton of time unless you're in Manhattan, like commuting on foot. If you're in Manhattan commuting on foot, you need to buy a pair of beautiful weatherproof shoes that you can wear while you're walking and subwaying and cabbing, and then you can change when you get to your destination. There's not really, I don't think there's a better option. I haven't ever lived in Manhattan. I've only been there on vacation and work during the winter, and that was what I did. You guys probably have a better solution than that, so if you do, please tell me because I don't know. Um, so anyway, that being said, I'm not going to be showing you a bunch of Ugg boots and Sorrells because that is your outdoor shoe. I'm going to be focusing on the shoes that make your look and are flattering and on trend. Okay. So first I'm going to talk about booties. So there's a lot of booty silhouettes. I'm going to address my favorite one. Um, this is my absolute favorite booty silhouette. And the reason for that is it scoops down in the front here and that elongates your leg. Um, the longer your leg looks, the better it looks, right? Um, so these booties are great with skinny jeans, with crop jeans, with dresses in the summer. You can wear them with tights um, or bare legs. But the reason I like these with dresses is because of the scoop down in the front. These are Paul Green. I've had these for years. I got them in the middle term anniversary sale. Paul Green is a higher end uh, footwear company. They're based out of Germany, but you get what you pay for with Paul Green. Um, some shoe companies are super expensive and not comfortable. That is not the case with these. They also hold up very well. These are at least three years old, folks, and I wear them all of the time. I've absolutely got my cost per wear out of these boots and they're not a super trendy silhouette um, and they're super neutral color so that's why I chose to invest in something like this I will link to similar shoes uh, and boots in the bottom below in the description um, so you can find something similar to this I love this booty and it was a really good purchase okay here's another silhouette this is another one that's become more mainstream it's with a cut down on the side the reason I like this, same thing, it elongates the leg. It gives you more leg to show. Um, oh, and you can wear little socks with these if you're in a cold climate um, that don't show. So just buy either those little no-show socks or something that's lower than the line of the ankle line. And these are a good neutral color. They're like a blush pink. These are Lucky Brand. These were less... Um, costly but both of these have rubber soles so they're really easy to walk in they're not slick so that's another good thing for winter if you're walking on ice I know like leather bottoms are a little nerve-wracking um, so these are also great with skinny jeans crop jeans and dresses in the winter the last silhouette of booty I think that I'm going to talk about is this higher shaft here um, and this is a sock booty sock booties are very in right now this higher shaft is more difficult it does cut the leg so for something like this i recommend either wearing it with a jean that you can wear over the um top of the boot that will cover the top of the boot or blend with the top of the boot or wearing it with like black hosiery and a dress uh, that again will help elongate the leg because it will be all one color throughout the leg i will show you a couple of photos of how to wear this and what it looks like on the leg so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about with this straight across. So when I pick shoes, I number one, I obviously I select 
for what's in style and what's modern, what's you know available. But I also really, 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 really focus on what's flattering. Um, my job is to make people look better, not to look like fashion victims. And anyone can go into any store and buy any booty that's in style and throw it on. But if it doesn't look good and you're not styling it properly, then there's really no point. So that's what I'm talking about with these boots, like why I'm mentioning the things I am and why I buy what I buy, why I select what I select for clients. So these are all things to keep in mind when shopping for booties and footwear, okay? So I will show you pictures of all of those, hopefully. Um, next, I'm gonna talk about fashion sneakers. So I have a pair of white fashion sneakers that I sh I'm gonna show you a photo of, and I styled these with a, kind of a dress pant that I actually got at Target, and they're a little bit of an ankle crop dress pant, and I thought it was just a cool spin on dressing down and modernizing and playing with that athleisure vibe and styling it with something unexpected, and that's why I did that. Some of the other sneakers that I really love right now, um, this is a pair from Target, um, the Who What Wear line. These are a dupe of Golden Goose. I will link to Golden Goose. If anyone knows Golden Goose, they're a much, much higher end um, designer, contemporary shoe company <clears throat> that does like distressed looked sneakers. And so Who What Wear did a dupe of them. They have two colors available. This was the gray and I believe they have a white one. And it's funny because these are pretty comfy. So I think they're a really good dupe um, unless you really need to buy a $500 pair of shoes. I would totally go for these. But I was reading in the comments on Target, the reviews, and people were like, oh my God, they're just, they're dirty and da 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 And I was like, oh, they obviously don't know that that was intentional. Um, and I know it's silly, but they're really in style. So here you go. Um, if you don't want dirty sneakers, don't buy them. These are not that. They're just very mildly. Um, that's just the look. Um, so if you like the, the Golden Goose line and you want the, the lower end version, there you go. Um, and then these are my wedge sneakers. I flipping love these. I just got these. I actually have had a couple clients buy them. They come in a bunch of different colors. They are suede, so please spray them. If you live in a climate with snow or rain, um, suede is very delicate. That is why it costs less because it is not as durable as leather. So um, actually you should be spraying your leather in winter climate and um, cold and wet climates anyway. So spray both of them, but especially suede because it's not very forgiving. If you get it, these wet, they're, they're gonna be damaged pretty quickly. Um, but these were really comfortable. They do not feel like a heel. They feel like a sneaker, but they dress up your look. And these look great with crop pants, skinny pants. Um, and I will show you how I styled them in the photos. Last but not least, another fashion sneaker. This one is incredibly comfortable and it's padded and you can wear a uh, sock with it again. These I would wear with more casual bottoms because they are a lot more like athletic feeling, but these are really comfortable. And in the summer, I wore them with t-shirt dresses. I probably wouldn't wear them with winter dresses because they tend to be a little dressier, but these are great traveling shoes too, like with cute little leggings and a cashmere sweater. This would be a cute look. Skinny jeans, crop jeans, um, you got it. But these are the boots. They're really comfortable. One of my clients, husband works for TaylorMade and they used to own Adidas and so she would always be my scoop on what the best Adidas products were and I learned about these from her. So, um, okay, so loafers. I have, where's the other loafers I have here? Okay, so these, I have two loafers here, one Target with a Gucci inspired look and then one Kate Spade. These um, I would wear with those cute little anklets if you want a sock or I would wear them with no show socks again for winter um, and I, I'd wear them with tights and dresses or skinny jeans or crop jeans like pretty much all over the board and granted you're you're having more foot show in these these are more exposed so it's it may not be for everyone if if you're having um, a special occasion or something and you are okay having a cold ankle then you can whatever when I lived 
So I grew up in Wyoming. So I've been through many, many, many awful winters. And sometimes you just got to suffer a little bit, right, folks? So you can't always have super cozy, warm feet. Um, these would be some options for those days where maybe the early fall, early spring, or late spring, in between. Okay, and last but not least, I have Oxfords. So Oxfords I love. They're also very on in style and on trend. You can wear these with no-show socks or the little cute anklet, um, sheer anklets I will link to. These I wear with dresses and skinny jeans and crop jeans. So pretty much the same gamut. Um, I will hopefully show you photos of all of those different leg like lengths. Um, and that's my game plan to take pictures of all these and insert them in here. So if they're in there, then I did my job. Um, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, because that's the only way I know that you like it. And I know that I have a lot of people emailing me, telling me they like the videos that are already um, clients or followers or whatever. So, and if you have an idea for a video or a question, ask me and I will do it for you. Like I did this one for Renee, because I know she's not the only person out there that's struggling with the whole winter shoe thing. So I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share me with your friends, share the love. Um, I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for spending like the last 11 and a half minutes with me and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.